Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So today we have a spicy one for you, all right? I've been asked to do this video a few times and it should be a fun one, all right? So uh, we are going to talk about what the stereotypes are for each special operations unit and the soldiers that are in them, okay? And before you get all butthurt about um, ones I'm gonna talk about, I got most of these stereotypes from guys actually in these units, so it should make it more fun because it's coming from them, all right? So, um, if you've watched any of these types of videos before, when we talk about special operations unit, I always start out with uh, civil affairs and psyops. For those of you who didn't know, they're actually in special operations, okay? So, what are the stereotypes for these two, okay? Um, basically, it's kind of like letting your little brother wear your uniform for the day, okay? Or kind of let them play pretend that they're special operators, okay? They're obviously not, they're enablers, but we like to let them pretend, okay? What is CA known for? Uh, they're known for partying at embassy parties and not actually doing anything you need them to do uh, when you show up in country, all right? Um, PSYOP, right? What are they known as? The real special forces, the most lethal fighting force in the U.S military or at least they'd like to tell you that okay um yeah we're not gonna most of these we're gonna do a uh, good stereotype for these two like in all my videos they're just gonna get shit on and we're gonna move on all right so next one of course we gotta start with the unit that has the most stereotypes everybody knows you already know what it's gonna be and that is our navy seals okay our long beautiful haired out of regs navy seals all right what are they the Hollywood Special Operations Unit, right? They're known for taking massively botched operations and turning them into heroic movies, all right? They're very, very good at that. Um, for those of you who didn't know, after a Navy SEAL graduates BUDS, they actually go to six months of journalism school so that they're prepared to write their autobiographies as soon as they get out, okay? Little known fact, most people didn't know about that. Okay, um, and yeah, what are they actually known for? Of course, the Frogmen, Navy SEALs, Legacy Unit, been around since Vietnam. Awesome dudes, the best in the water. It is what it is, moving on. Okay, next one. Every time I talk about these videos, I always get a bunch of people in the comment uh, section, what about Navy Special Warfare, okay? Um, well, you know what? Since it's Pride Month, I'm gonna include you guys for this one. So this is all we have to say about you guys. That's from your unit. Happy Pride. Okay, moving on to my unit, the U.S. Army Green Berets, Army Special Forces. Man, there is a lot of them on this, all right? So, uh, what are Green Berets known for in special operations community? Uh, being the old, fat, gray-haired, out of shape, and broken operators, okay? And if you don't believe me, here's a video of your typical Special Forces team sergeant on the highway. Look at him go. Standard Green Beret right there, boys. All right, so um, also, you know, there's a saying, um, when you graduate the Special Forces Qualification course, you're issued a beret, a Harley Davidson, and a, and a divorce, right? So most guys are on their second or third marriage, the vast majority of those to Asian or Latina women myself included, all right, is what it is, all right? Uh, they're known as the unit that has a second family in a foreign country, most likely. Um, so, uh, also, if we go even de deal deeper to MOSs, like our 18 Deltas, our Special Forces Medics, for those of you who don't know, they're a bunch of creepy weirdos who like to stick their fingers in, in each other's rectums, okay? Don't ask me why, it's just something they're into. It's weird, is what it is, okay? Uh, some good stereotypes. Um, obviously, Special Forces is the jack of all trades, Swiss Army knife of the U.S. military. If you need a mission actually accomplished, that's who you send, right? And, of course, everyone knows in the military, they grow the best beards by far. All right, moving on to MARSOC, okay? Our Marine Raiders. So, the biggest stereotype for them, what do they want to be? Sort of... Confused identity, okay, goes with 24, 24 times, right? Do they want to be a, do they want to be Navy SEALs and do stuff in the water? Or, you know, they set all their mission sets 
to just copy the U.S. Army Green Berets. Do they want to be Green Berets? They don't really know, okay? Um, you know, the running joke is a Marine Raider is just a Marine who was too stupid to get out and join the Army and go Army Special Forces, right? Had a bunch of Marines actually on my teams um, that did that. Anyway, um, again, you know, they're souped up super soldier Marines. What does that mean? That means that they typically only eat the uh, crayons in the box that actually are colored like real foods rather than eating the entire box like a regular marine grunt would, right? So uh, jokes aside, I mean, Marsoc Raiders are actually um, some of the most tactically proficient and trained. Their qualification courses actually go way more into tactics than ours do, um, and they are legit in combat, okay? So all jokes aside, they're a legit unit as well, okay? Next, we're gonna move up into our higher tiers, our uh, sneaky squirrel units, okay? Of course, right out the gate, Delta Force. Some of you might be shocked to hear this, but what does a company of Delta Force operators look like? Head down to your local Home Depot and see what their employees look like, okay? That's what these guys look like. If you don't believe me, here's the most famous Delta Force operator and one of the most lethal men that's ever lived. Right, so just saying, uh, again, absolute savages, okay? It is what it is. Um, hard to, uh, oh yeah, another one, right? So Delta Force, you're not supposed to ever know who these guys are, right? Ooh, civilian clothes and beards, right? So except for that when you're downrange and you see a guy who's got long hair, a beard, he's got kid on with a giant fuck you American flag, everybody knows that guy's in Delta Force, so they don't do the best job hiding, okay? Jokes aside, the most professional soft unit by far. Um, the number one soft unit in the world, not even close. Just giving these guys a hard time. Hard to because, man, it's the top of the top when you get to Delta, right? All right, next one, right aligned with that, of course, DevGru, right? So the unit that wishes it was Delta Force, okay? Um, you know, they're the they're Navy SEALs that actually manage to accomplish missions, okay? That's kind of what they're known for, right? Um, and as everybody knows, they've got an entire unit full of guys who all were the ones to kill Osama bin Laden. So, rock on. Jokes aside, man, these dudes are top of the top as well. They're right there with Delta Force. These are the best in the world, you know? But we got to find something to give them a hard time for, okay? So, uh, moving on to the Air Force, all right? Man, you guys know these guys are about to get thrashed and trashed, bunch of fucking nerds, right? So, the Air Force has a bunch of special operations units. For those of you who don't know, you got your CCTs, your combat controllers, your pararescue, your PJs, your SR, special reconnaissance, SEER, TACPs, right? And since Nobody gives a shit about those last three. We're just going to do CCTs and PJs. The other three are irrelevant. Nobody cares about them, right? So CCTs. I've worked with CCTs the most out of any other um, soft um, soldiers in my career, right? Um, and they are the world's best enabler, okay? These guys can't do anything on their own. They basically have to get babysat and have their hand held out onto the objective by Green Berets and Rangers and everybody so that they can call in their strikes and get all the glory, okay? That's what CCTs are known for. Uh, also known for having zero situational awareness. I don't know how many times the bullets flying past our heads and our CCT is just staring at an iPad screen talking to a uh, pilot getting ready to be shot in the face unaware of what's going on, okay? Um, again, jokes aside, I love these dudes, man. I loved all the CCTs I worked with. Super smart dudes, super good at their job. I was a special operations tactical air controller and uh, they never let me drop bombs because I'm too dumb, right? So props to those guys. All right, and let's get into our last one, okay? Our Air Force PJs. We got a bunch of them. Right out the gate, we have to talk about what is this creepy ass doll? These dudes are literally obsessed with this thing, okay? If you don't believe me, there's their Instagram page. They have an entire Instagram page to this creepy doll that they all try to steal from each other. It's super weird, right? I was gonna call them nerds. Now I just think that they're just a bunch of fucking little weirdos, right? Um, aside from that weird thing, right? You have, and I did this in my last video, talk about who had this, the hardest uh, special operations qualification course, and we determined the 
uh, Air Force PJs did. Why? Their course is the longest, the most mentally de demanding, intelligence demanding, um, and hardest, some of the hardest courses. So imagine all of that training, all of that knowledge, all that expertise to have no actual mission and never actually lead the wire. <sighs> Crazy, right? Um, for those of you who didn't know, if you don't believe me, uh, CSAR actually stands for Come Sit and Relax. Okay, that's what PJs are known for. And on the side, a little bit deeper, for those who didn't know, there's PJs in Alaska. The PJs in Alaska are actually uh, forest rangers, park rangers. They actually don't do anything in special operations. They just run the parks. Super weird, I didn't know that. Uh, but that's just a little fun fact for you guys. So again, oh, also with PJs, you know, the best medics in the military, but if you ever actually wanted to have a medic with you, you just bring an 18 Delta. So uh, anyway, jokes aside of that guys, PJs, you gotta give it to the guys who are willing to fly in on a helicopter into a hot LZ to basically give their lives up to save mine um, when I'm injured, okay? So uh, my hat's off to those guys. They got a, they got a very difficult job and a very important one. So that is going to wrap it up, guys. Um, if you have any other ones that uh, I might not have talked, throw them in the comments section. And again, if you're gonna get all butthurt about it, I don't really care. And again, most of these come from the units themselves. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, have a good day.